Wayne Dysinger. Derek Wayne Dysinger, 17, of Delphi, Indiana, passed away May 17, 2016, due to an alcohol related accident. May I have your attention? Hunter Christopher Moat. Hunter Christopher Moat, 18, of Delphi, Indiana, passed away May 17, 2016, due to an unrelated, alcohol-related automobile accident. Cassie Marie Hanna, 17 of Delphi, passed away on May 17, 2016, due to an alcohol-related autom automobile accident. Hilda Nieves, 18, of Delphi, Indiana, passed away May 17, 2016, due to an alcohol-related automobile accident. Sabrina Chantel Conde, 17, of Delphi, Indiana, passed away May 17, 2016, due to an alcohol-related crash.
lobby. More, more, more two people involved. What's going on? What happened? What happened? Crossing the building. Hey. You went through. Where's everybody else at? How many people are here? There's two in this car. Two? There's two over there. There's two over there. How many people are in this car? Is this you? Are you driving this one? Yes, sir. Okay, hey, hey, come on over here. One, two, three. You driving this one? Yes, sir. Okay, come on over here. Have a seat. Okay. Have a seat. Have a seat. What happened? What happened? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Which vehicle were you in? Which one were you in? That one. The blue one? Okay, were you driving? Were you driving? What's, what's going on? Yeah, okay, back. okay, sit here, stay with here, okay? Ambulance helps on the way, they'll be here shortly, okay? Okay? <laughs> Two unresponsives here, one unresponsive over there. Still talking. Can you tell me where you are? No. No? Alright.
you got? Uh, this is the uh, M55 from the uh, school. Oh. Corner. I think they informed you about that beforehand. Yeah, well, <laughs> sure knows, but yes. Hey, sir, stand up against that wall, please, that wall for me. Got anything in your pockets? Knives, guns, hanger nades, anything like that? Anything yeah. gonna hurt me? I just got a pencil in my pocket. Pencil? You're doing pencil in your pocket. School. No, it's a weapon. Huh? What? what? No, it's a, what's that? It's just the breathalyzer. Okay. Pencil in your pocket is a weapon, right? No. Spread your feet for me. Pencil in your pocket. You gonna do a dead master on him? Yeah, not an actual. We're just gonna simulate it. Okay. All right. So you need to have a seat there. Follow the officer's instructions. Yes, sir. Okay. What was your name again? Jacob Plaza. Think you can handle this? Suicidal? No. You sure? Yes. You ever been in trouble before? Mm -hmm. You ever been in trouble before? Mm -hmm. hey, this officer's going to ask you some medical questions. Answer them the best you can. Okay. And he was charged with what? OWI. OWI, okay. Causing a, most likely a fatal, fatal accident, yes. Okay. okay, let's see here. Did you graduate high school? You're still in high school, right? Yeah. Was the last grade you successfully completed? Ten. Okay. Have you ever experienced the following? Job loss? No. Arrest of a loved one? No. Death of a loved one? Yes. Marital separation? No. Divorce? No. Loss of a business? No. Major financial loss? No. Have you ever had any other major problems in your past that they should be aware of? Deep, deep breath. Deep as you can. Blow. Blow, 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 blow. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and sit down. Just got to recalibrate for the next one. Accelerate this. Okay. Time for the next one. Okay. Same as before. You got it? Okay. Deep breath. Blow, 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 blow. Okay. Go ahead and have a seat over there. Follow me. Step into there. Take shoes off. Right here. Take the socks off one at a time. Turn them inside out. Open your mouth. Raise your tongue up. Okay, step in. This is what you're going to call your mom and dad. And that's what you have to tell them that you just killed your best friend. Okay. If they don't answer, leave a message. There you go, sir. Mom, it's me. I've been in a drunk driving accident and I've killed my best friend. I'm going to court. Will you meet me there? Court is at Circuit Court at the Carroll County Courthouse. Let me verify the call. There you go. What's your last name? Clouser. Miss Clouser? Yes, this is Mr. Davis Taylor, corrections officer at Carroll County. Your son was involved in a drunk driving accident. He will be taken to Circuit Court for arraignment. So if you can meet him there, you can find out all the details there. Thank you. Okay. I turn around. We're going to bed. I'm going to double lock these so I don't tighten up on you. You're bringing them back, so I'm going to give you shackles too. Okay. Set. I actually mess up your hands. I good can be. On your knees. Maybe it will. 
<laughs> okay. There you go. Step easy. Someday, no. Mr. Clouser, if you Raise your right hand to be sworn. Do you swear or affirm under the penalties of perjury that the evidence and testimony will give today be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Please say your full name for the record. Jacob Andrew Clauser. Mr. Clauser, you are before the court for an initial hearing. You are charged with six separate counts. They are count one, causing death when operating a motor vehicle while intoxicated, a level five felony. Count two, causing death when operating a motor vehicle while intoxicated, a level five felony. Count three, causing death when operating a motor vehicle while intoxicated, a level five felony. Count four, causing serious bodily injury when operating a motor vehicle while intoxicated, a level six felony. And count five, causing serious bodily injury when operating a motor vehicle while intoxicated, as a level six felony. Do you plead not guilty or guilty? Guilty. Mr. Clauser, the court having found factual basis for your offer of pleas of guilty, the court is willing to accept your pleas of guilty. Accordingly, judgments of conviction shall be hereby are entered on count one. You are hereby found guilty of a level five felony. Count two, you are found guilty of a level five felony. Count three, you are found guilty of a level five felony. Count four, you are found guilty of a level six felony. And count five, you are found guilty of a level six felony. As the court has at this point entered judgments of conviction, you are entitled to be sentenced within 30 days. Are you prepared to be sentenced this afternoon? Mr. Bean, does the state of Indiana move forward to sentencing this afternoon? Yes. And Mr. Bean, does the state of Indiana have any evidence to present either on its own or through any impacted victims? Judge, I believe it's a victims of, uh, or the families of some of the victims may be present. We seek to call those folks. Accordingly, are there any individuals here um, related to Dean S. Hamlin who wish to make any statements today? If so, raise your hand. Ma'am, if you would identify yourself for the record and make any statements that you wish to make. I am Enise Hampton and I'm Dean Hampton's mom. And I guess I'm just asking you what I'm supposed to do with his open house that we were supposed to celebrate on Saturday. Um, instead, I think I'll be having family and friends attending the funeral. Instead of celebrating something that um, we've looked forward to for his whole life. And 
I don't know if you know Dean, but what makes this even more ironic is he was accepted to um, Vincennes University where he was studying in funeral services. So, and, um, instead of seeing my son grow up into the career that he's always wanted to, I'm going to see his life come to an end in a career he never got to start. Um, I am Lori Limbag, Abigail Napier's mom. I guess I don't even know what Abby would have been doing with you. Um, it's unfortunate that her life ended and yours didn't, as we sit here, uh, because you chose to drink and drive and put our baby girl in your car. You know, we always laugh that it was going to take Abby five or six years to graduate from Ball State, but at least we would have gotten to see that. I think you're worthless, uh, and I wish that you would have been the one um, that died in that wreck and not our Abby. Ronald, my name is Kyle Lindbeck. I'm Abigail's stepdad. Abby had so much to look forward to this summer. She was going to go to Ball State in the fall. She's going to be a counselor at Camp Tecumseh this summer. She was going to. She was going to be involved with 4-H and uh, was going to attempt to be prom queen. She was the county's first 4-H, not prom queen, but 4-H uh, print, 4-H queen, and she was the first 4-H princess as well. Uh, she was prom queen this year as well. Uh, she was so excited about that. She was looking forward to so much, and because of what Jacob's done, she will not be able to experience any of that. I'm Carlos Fisdonald, Connor's mom, and I just want to say while well, you'll have a place to sleep and get food, and I will never get to feed Connor again or tell him goodnight. So think about that one. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Angie Hart, and I'm Dylan's um, mother. And um, Dylan and Jacob grew up together and um, played sports together, and I feel like they were brothers on a football field and they were brothers outside in um, the football field. Um, and two families lost today. We lost our child and the Clausers are losing their child to a, a prison, potentially. So I just wanted to say that um, I just feel for I just feel for everyone here. Accordingly, the court imposes a six-year sentence on count one. The court imposes a six-year sentence on count two. The court imposes a six-year sentence on count three. These sentences shall be executed consecutive to each other. The Department of Corrections and any time served shall receive Class B good time credit. The court also imposes a sentence of two and one half years on count four and two and one half years on count five to be served consecutively to each other and the previously imposed counts also shall be served at the DOC with Class A good time credit to apply. This brings defendant's sentence to a total of 23 years, all of which shall be executed at the Department of Corrections. This matter is adjourned. Defendant shall be remained in the care and custody of the Carroll County Sheriff to be transported to DOC. And this matter is concluded. Step on in, have a seat.